I'm about ready to just read it for yourself. And hello beautiful people, welcome back. So in today's video, for those of you that were here on Wednesday, you might remember me mentioning that I messed up my shoulder and for whatever reason, it's just really stiff. And it is feeling a lot better now, but it's still not quite there. So I wanted to sit down for today's video and instead of focusing on a makeup application, just give it one more day to rest and focus on something else. So I started digging around in my brain as far as like what's something you guys have always wanted to know, some stuff you've wanted me to expound on, which is obviously how I came up with today's video. And that is sharing with you guys my top five favorite products for helping with my acne. They have all been really crucial in their own way at helping me not only diminish my acne from where I started like three years ago, but also keep it under control. And I think the best way to kind of show you how far I've come is to put up a picture of me today with no makeup on. I took it just before I started filming. I'll obviously go ahead and put those up on the screen. And then to contrast today's photos, I'm actually gonna put up a screenshot of me with no makeup on, um, pre-makeup application, I guess you could say, from an old video that I uploaded, probably like like three-ish years ago and that's just to give you guys a sense of like how far I've come how much my skin really has changed because for those of you that are new here obviously you haven't seen like the entire journey but I, I just want you guys to know that like when I talk about acne I'm not just talking about you know having one or two like acne dots or you know that sort of thing I'm talking like full-on I have really bad cystic acne and if I even let it get a moment out of control it will flood back so quickly and I really did want to take the time with today's video to boil it down which is why I'm only going to be talking about five products because I think in today's world especially like it's already so difficult to find the products that work best for you um, but especially when there's just always so many of them thrown at you so for today what I did is I broke it down into cleanser mask and treatment and again we're going to kind of get into what those mean and I'm going to share with you my favorites now there are two things I want to mention before I get straight into the products the first one is that if you are someone that struggles with like cystic acne and like the type of acne that I had that you saw in that photo um, or that screenshot rather if you that's you 100% like this is something that is very geared towards you But I didn't want to just cater a video to you know one type or one need for people So this video will also be very helpful for those of you that just get like the occasional breakout or like patch of it Or like your once a month type acne These are products that really can be applied to anyone Regardless of kind of where you're at and I just wanted to put that out there Just so you guys know kind of what you're looking at and then the second thing I want to mention is of course the disclaimer We've all heard it a thousand times, but just because these work for me it doesn't mean they will work for you. Obviously, these are my tried and true. I've used them time and time again. Like I said before, you've probably heard me mention them over on Instagram or on some other social media, but these are things that I feel so like well tied to and so connected with that I don't have any problem mentioning them to you guys. But I also don't want to instill in you that these are the products you have to have or like this is the only thing that will work because obviously there are a ton, a ton of products out on the market and just because they work for me doesn't mean they'll work for you. Um, even though I do think that for the most part, they are pretty tried and true of very blanket type item. But again, I just want to throw it out there. Okay, so now that we've covered all the bases, let's go ahead and talk about our first product. And I'm talking about this one first because not only for me is it where like all of these other steps start, which is my cleanser, but it's also the very first product that I ever tried in my fight against really bad acne that meant the most to me, that did the most, that just, it, it gave me so much light and so much hope that I could eventually have clearer skin. And that is from none other than Innisfree and it is their Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. And this is the absolute best cleanser. And if you don't recognize it in this tube, you might recognize it in this tube, which is what the packaging has always looked like, but it did recently change over to this. And if you're wondering, yes, it is cut in half because it was almost out of product. And if you cut it in half and like scrape down the tube, you get like a whole nother week out of this thing. And I'm that person that has to get all the use out of her product because A, waste not, want not. Like I'm not about ready to sit over here and waste resources. No, thank you. Also, it's so good. Like I don't want to run out. I don't ever want to not have this and wish I had scraped the insides of my container. So pro tip for me to you, if you have something that's in this kind of a container, there's always more inside of there, always. So do your due diligence, cut it in half, scrape it around. I do it with my toothpaste too, it's a great hack. I'm gonna give you some backstory on this product because I really want you guys, I wanna paint the entire picture of like when I started using it and to current and just show you like along the way how drastic this really has been. And I remember, and I'll never forget when I started using this because it was Memorial Weekend, I believe it was three years ago now. And I took this with me because I was going on a camping trip with 
my family down to just a friend's cabin. They had just come in from Amazon and I went ahead and I threw it in my bag and I was like, okay, you know, when we get there and I do my nighttime skincare, I'll, I'll start using it. Like I'm at least gonna try it. So I took it with me, threw it in my bag, obviously whatnot. You know, I get down there, I'm doing my nighttime skincare. I wash my face, I go to bed. I don't think anything of it. The next day I woke up and I was kind of like, man, like does my face look a little bit like less red or like less like puffy? And for, again, for those of you with cystic acne, you can tell like you're, you have active acne and then you'll have like puffy, just like all over pores and puffy, not yet acne, acne, if you know what I'm talking about. And I had just less of that. And I was like, I can't tell. And so I asked my mom and she's like, yeah, kinda, it does look different. And I used this for the two nights that we were away. And by the time I got back the following day, back to the house and I, you know, I was just like with my normal lighting and stuff, my face in two days had changed so dramatically that I was blown away by this soap. Oh hey guys, it's like halfway through Sunday and I have been using that soap that I tried on the first night. I tried it, I did it Friday night, sat yesterday day and morning and then or day and morning what morning and night and then this morning and my face is not as red and I don't know if it'll translate on camera but my mom and I have both decided my face is less red and my pores which by the way are like large and in charge for my entire life, they are looking better, which, oh, there you go. That's a good glisteny moment. I know it sounds crazy to think, you know, after two days or a day or whatever that I could tell a difference. And even if you take away like, okay, it's my face, maybe I was inspecting it too closely, whatever. After a week of using this, you guys, my skin looked so unbelievably different that even my mom from far away was like, holy crap, what have you been doing? Because your face is just so insanely clear. And from that very moment of using this product and just seeing it from, you know, the first day, two days, a week, a month, I have been so blown away at the consistent like effort and helpfulness that this has in controlling not only acne that I have like when I get active breakouts but also helping to prevent them and helping to prevent stress ones or you know cystic ones or whatever now, the only thing that could potentially be a problem is if you do have like super dry skin I don't know that you will enjoy this over the drier areas of your face and I say that obviously I don't have dry skin but I do have a friend with dry skin that tried it and it didn't work so well for her because she had dry skin but to the other people that I've talked to that are on like the oily combo or even normal skin side, they said they haven't had any issues. So I just wanted to put it out there that it does have that more of like a matte type feeling on your skin when it's all said and done. But again, I think that that speaks to the magic of how it works and how it kind of tightens up your pores and helps clarify your skin. This is that one product. This is that one thing that if somebody says, Paige, I have really bad cystic acne or I have really bad acne, I can't get it under control, what would you recommend? This is the first thing. I mean, I, I recommend all five of these things in this video, but this is the first line of defense. Ask them about their cleanser, ask them what they're using, and I would say half the time at least what they're using as far as a cleanser goes. I would say most of the time what the people are using for a cleanser, it just, the aggressiveness of that cleanser doesn't match the aggressiveness of their acne. And that's how I used to put it to people when I would talk about this um, specific cleanser is that I have aggressive acne, I need an aggressive cleanser. And this is an amazing aggressive cleanser, but not one that's really bad for your skin, it doesn't strip your skin. I have more sensitive skin and it doesn't affect me at all. It just does a beautiful squeaky clean kind of job as previously stated This is my one and only cleanser like yes There are other good cleansers that I've used but this is my one and only my ride or die I always switch back to it. It's just it, it's the best so I'm gonna only have one cleanser for today's video But I do have a couple of different masks that we're going to talk about and the first one is this guy This is the health and beauty Aztec secret Indian healing clay mask And it's actually a powder which is why it's in this container you open it up and it is you know Just like a straight-up standard little powder you can see it right in there and I love this mask for several reasons. Number one, and this is just the powder. We haven't even talked about the mixer yet. Just the powder itself. You can get this giant container of it, which I have been using, and it's down to here. Like, this will last me years. One of these containers, which they offered in this size and in a smaller size, one container will last you forever. So it's a good purchase to make if you're like, hey, I want to be one and done. I don't want to spend a ton of money. I think I bought this big container right here. It was like maybe $15 or $20 a couple years ago. And the smaller one is like maybe, I don't know, $10. Like it's, it's very inexpensive as far as, you know, masks go and especially for how much product you get. So just something to keep in mind. The price is fantastic. Number one. Number two, I love this because it is a 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. And for those of you that don't know, there's actually a little blurb on the back of it here. It says that this is good for facials, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, chilled clay, and knee packs. Handy for insect bites. Enjoy the benefits of clay in your own home. You can beautify and refresh just as clear 
Cleopatra used clay in her beauty ritual in ancient Egypt. And first of all, we all know how beautiful she was. Oh my God, yes, she was so beautiful. And obviously you can go through, you can do your own research, you know, so on and so forth. You don't have to <laughs> take the take the advice off of a back of a container. And essentially what I ended up finding out when I did my research is that this is something that has been used for centuries to do various types or, you know, heal various things. And they're all things that are also in some way or another kind of tied into acne, whether it's inflamed tissue or helping with an infection or clearing it out or really digging down into your pores and like helping remove dirt, grit, grime. But essentially it all just boiled down to everything that I read about this made sense for acne. So obviously I went ahead and I picked it up and then when I got it, um, you know, in my house and I was just reading the back of it, it does say that you can mix this with equal parts to water or that you can mix it with equal parts of apple cider vinegar. And this is what I use. This is my favorite one. This is the Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. And I have been using this same stuff, this same bottle, which obviously like a little lasts you forever because uh, you need just the tiniest amount to do uh, both of these things to do your whole face. And this combination has proven to be one of the most amazing, amazing deep pore cleansing masks. And even if you, you know, don't want to put it all over your face, you're like, hey, I got time for that. I don't want to commit to it. You can take it, make up a little tiny paste. You can do a spot treatment with it. And because it's something that you make up as you go or as you need it, you don't have to ever waste any product and you are able to really kind of fine tune it to your skin or to your individual situation. You know, whatever you have, again, if it's spot treatment or you want to do it all over the skin or the nose or whatever. What I love about this is that yes, you can see the immediate, you know, shrinkage of your pores and you can see all of that stuff. But this for me is a mask that after I take it off, I could see it work while it was on, but it really does penetrate deep down into your pores. And I put this one in the video first because I know a lot of you are very um, anti-fragrance and anti, you know, anything artificial. You would rather get as close to organic as possible. And for me, this is that combination and it works really well. But if you don't want to mess around with this and you're like, eh, it's a little bit too, eh, for me, like I would rather stick with something that I know, that I love, that I've seen a thousand times. It's very widespread as far as like the brand and whatnot. Another mask that I absolutely love is the Glam Glow Mask. This is their Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And I have purchased this mask time and time and time again. It is such an amazing, amazing clearing treatment, um, but it's also very aggressive. And that's something that I kind of want to juxtapose. To me, if you are someone that has more sensitive skin or you're like a little bit worried about like that burning sensation, the dry down being more aggressive, that sort of thing, I would stick with this combination because while again, the smell from this is gonna be maybe a little bit strong um, and that sort of thing, but you are still going to get a more natural type experience versus this, which has a very intense dry down. Again, it's very effective. You apply it. You can actually see it like sucking the oil and the impurities and the stuff out of your pores, which is fantastic. Um, but it just, it does have a much more aggressive feel. And I've heard from a lot of people that they actually hate this because of that reason, because it is so intense and it does dry down and it leaves you, you know, with like some red spots on your face, that sort of thing. Um, for me personally, while I do have sensitive skin and I do experience the redness that they're talking about, like if I were to take this right now and put a patch of it right here on my bare skin, when I removed it, you would see that exact same ring in a patch on my skin because it does cause my skin to get red. But ultimately for me, I've used it and continue to repurchase it time and time again because it's worth it to me because it does such an amazing job at really clearing out the pores. But at the same time, some people really want, you know, that aggressive approach. All right, so now we're on to our last two products and this is where it gets very finite. So we started off with cleanser. This is very general, very all over the face, um, you know, cleansing, that sort of thing. Then from there we went to mask, which is again, very all over, but more um, specified than the all over cleanser. After those two things, the last place for me that we would need to visit is spot treatment. It's that one, you know, I want to target, I want to pinpoint target finite approach to one specific piece of acne or one little area or one little situation. And for that, we have these two items right here. We have the Peace Out Acne Healing Dots, or we have the Killa Zit Stickers. And these both are fantastic, fantastic options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about them, I think, in the order that I would use them. So let's go ahead and start with the Zit Stickers. This would be my first line of defense. This is if the acne is like under the surface of my skin. It's under there far enough that you can't see it, but like it hurts. Um, but it's like still under the surface far enough that you know it's there, but you just, you can't see it. There's nothing topical yet. Maybe it's red, um, but there's just, you know, there's no head, there's no nothing like that. And it's just painful. It just hurts so bad. And you're like, God, I wish I could kill you from beneath the surface. That's this. That is where this product comes in because it's actually a little round disc, you know, about yay big. And in the center of it, it has what they call micro darts. And those little micro darts are designed to penetrate the surface of your skin and infuse the area or the infected area, the painful little area of your face. It's 
it's supposed to infuse that and, and kill off the, the acne itself from underneath the skin. So in the box, you have eight systems. And just to give you a really brief run through, basically it comes with eight of these little swabs and then eight of the actual zit stickers themselves. Let's say I had acne like right under the surface right here. So it's the end of the night. I've cleansed my skin. I've done all my normal skincare before I go to bed. I want to see if I can just, you know, try to bring down the redness and the swelling and all of that. So I go in with a cotton swab and I clean this area right here and I clean it off good and proper because this has salicylic acid, tea tree oil, vitamin E and uh, alcohol in it. And what this is going to do is prep the area. It's going to clean it, make sure there's nothing in the way and also be like a pre-treatment for the actual zit stick itself because salicylic acid is really good at helping to, you know, help with the acne situation. So you go in with one of those, you prep the area. Then you're going to go in and open up one of these, which I'm not going to open, but I will go ahead and put up a picture on the screen for you so you can see it. But this is the actual spot clarifying little uh, patch that you put on, the micro dart patch. And all you do is apply it over the area, which for me is right here. You just take the little sticker, you pop it down, and you will feel the tiny little micro dots kind of into your skin and you'll feel them like kind of push through the surface. And at first you're kind of like, ooh, like that was, that was a little harsh. Excuse me, sir. No, thank you. Um, but after you've done it a few times, you're like, oh, it's nothing. It's just, it's just not a smooth patch. It just has tiny little micro darts in it. It's not like it hurts or anything, but it does kind of startle you at first. At least it did me. Uh, but anyways, you just apply that, you leave it on. And when you wake up in the morning, you peel it off and you're good to go. And the reason that I like these so much and that I think they're so different from these right here is because these are really that first line of defense at like getting down into your your pores and getting down into your skin and trying to kill off whatever is in there that's causing that redness, that inflammation before it comes to the surface. Because, you know, not only do you not want it to come to the surface for like obvious, you know, looks reasons, but also when it gets to the upper surface of your skin, it can cause damages to your epithelial layers and to, you know, scarring and that sort of thing. And so anything that you can do to get rid of it before it's even a problem, you know, an even bigger problem than being a bump, um, I, I like to do. Another big plus to this is I was just reading it off the back here, something I wanted to mention. Um, it says that this, the little micro darts that are on the patch, they will actually flood your early stage zit within two hours of application, flattening its angry appearance at the source. So that's just something I wanted to point out is that if you happen to get something and you're like, oh, I don't want this to be a thing. I don't have to leave the house for a couple of hours. You can very feasibly, you know, get up, get, start getting ready, pop this on, leave it on, wash your face, and then go about your day and already start fighting whatever that early stage acne is before it becomes a problem. You know, before you go out for the weekend or before you go out that night or whatever. I would say the only thing that I have an issue with when it comes to this product is the price because it is more on the pricey side. Uh, it's $29 for one box, which is only eight treatments. So something to consider there on the price side. But if it's something that, you know, you really want to test out, I know sometimes they run sales. Sometimes you can get them on sales through other websites, but just something to keep in mind that if you're wanting to use them, definitely, you know, be mindful when you do because they are on the pricier side. All right. And now all of that leads us in to the last guy I want to talk about, which is the Peace Out Acne Dots. And I have been using these for so, so long. Like I, I discovered these maybe two years ago and they have helped me so much with my active acne because these work on your acne when it's already at the surface. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but I tell you what, I will be sitting there like right now, just like sitting there normal chilling. And in like 13 seconds, I'll look at my face again and there will be active acne on the surface that I'm just like, what am I, how, where did you even come from? Like I, I did everything right. How did you just show up unannounced and just so uninvited? It's so rude. And that's where these come in because I love putting these on before I go to bed at night. And these are something that really work to extract the, the nastiness out of the acne that's already on the surface of your skin. And just to show you basically what you're getting here, you do get 20 of the dots and this is the box they come in. They come in two little sleeves like this, which are on little cards like this. I only have one left. I just reordered them. And just to give you the contrast, that is what you're getting. Um, it's just a little dot that looks like that. And that's all you're sticking to your skin, calling it a night. When I wake up after applying this, this part right here in the center is like white and nasty and it's like raised off of the pad. And that's because what these do is they actually extract the impurities and the nastiness out of your acne and put it into this pad, which is just like the nastiest, nastiest thing to say out loud, but it is so incredibly effective. This just extracted it without any, you know, pressure points, no poking, no pinching, no whatever. Um, so it really does also help you kind of protect your skin and protect your outer dermis layer, which is really nice. And I just wanted to read to you off the back here. It says that these use salicylic acid to kick acne causing bacteria to the curb while vitamin A helps speed healing and aloe vera soothes the redness, which again is what I'm talking about with it kind of helping to heal me and like helping to smooth everything out and almost flatten that area of my skin back to normal while it takes all the, all the nastiness right out of the skin, which is fantastic.
fantastic. It also says that it creates a protective barrier that guards against external irritants, and within just six hours, your blemish is less red, less painful, and significantly less annoying. And I agree with everything this box says. Again, I've repurchased this time and time again. I've been using it for years, and I really do swear by the technology in this and by how much it has just helped me not, not only be able to just leave my skin alone and like not mess with it myself, but the effectiveness of it and the ingredients I just think are spot on. But all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I'm sorry it was a little bit on the longer side, even though it was only five products. I really wanted to sit down and like hammer home with you guys what I use, what I like, and why I think it's so effective. And I think at the end of it, you know, even though this wasn't like my standard, you know, witty bantering type humor or whatever, um, I really wanted this to be a video that was helpful and that was more informative than anything. Because as someone who has struggled with acne and cystic acne for so much of her life, I wanted to really dedicate and make an informative video for you guys that I thought would help. Because again, I know the feeling that that puts inside of yourself, whether it's like crippling self-doubt or anxiety about your appearance, always feeling like you need to wear makeup, you know, all of these things, um, they're so difficult to deal with. And I just wanted to give you guys everything that I knew, all my tips, my tricks, my, my top five products here um, that I use on a day-to-day, week-by-week basis that really helped me keep mine under control. And yeah, I just, I hope it was helpful. So you guys can let me know down below if you like this. And you can also let me know down below if you'd like to see a video like this, maybe dedicated toward texture and just like facial type situations. Because when I started my channel, I had way more facial texture than I do now. And through a process of trying out, you know, serums and different things like that, I have been able to kind of wrap that up a little bit and help. So if you'd like to hear my top suggestions for that, you can also let me know down below. If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, those will of course be linked down in the description. I would love it if you'd come follow me on both. But most importantly, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to stick around, I would greatly appreciate that as well. You guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Who knew that I could talk for eight hours about five products? Me. Are you guys letting my damn little tiny birdie just like fly away over here? What are you doing? Get back here. Get back to the center. Whether it is in favorites videos or empties videos, and that is none other than my Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Volcanic. That is none other than my Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing from the brand from. This is their Jeju Volcanic Pore. And that is from none other than the brand Innisfree. It is their Jeju Volcanic Chlor. Oh my God! About ready to just. Read it for yourself. <laughs>